Hello again, and welcome to Stenning Grammar School Tower Site. I'm Sister Patrick, and I'm here in the chapel of the Towers Site. And you will notice something in this chapel which you did not see on the previous um, video, and that is the Easter candle burning here beside me. The Easter candle, which is a symbol of Jesus risen from the dead. He is the light of the world, and he is with us now. He is present with each one of us in all the circumstances of our lives. And today we were going to think about and reflect on the gift of friendship and how important friends are to us. We're thinking about, first of all, how to be a good friend. In the Bible, Jesus often speaks about friendship and telling us that we are his friends. And if we are his friends, we will do what he has asked us to do. And one of these important things is to love one another. It's not always easy, and it's not always easy to be a good friend. But let's just think of some of the things that would help us to be a good friend. First of all, we think of the wonderful gift that friendship is. You've got friends in your class, friends at school, friends in your neighborhood, friends in your street, and perhaps friends in other places. What do we look for in our friends? First of all, we want to get to know them. Like Jesus, he got to know us. He knows every heartbeat. He knows every hair on our heads. He knows us as we are, and he loves us just as we are. It takes time for friendships to develop. We can't get to know our friends just very short, in a very short time. So we think about them, we get to know about their family, their likes and their dislikes, their favorite football team, their favorite rock band, their favorite food, the types of music that they like, their favorite sport, and lots of other things. What does a good friend do? A good friend listens to us, comforts us when we feel sad, understands us when we have problems, helps us when we are in need, doesn't tell our secrets, cheers us up when we are sad and lonely, comforts us when we are disappointed, shares with us, trusts us even when we make mistakes. Having a good friend is so terribly important because people need people and friends need friends. And we all need love because on love, life depends. Our life cannot depend on riches or on celebrity status or on, on success, but on love. And we sometimes find it difficult to share that love with others. But if we consider how Jesus loves us, he loves us just as we are, despite all our difficulties and our limitations, our moodiness, when we don't trust others, when we are unkind or selfish, he still loves us. He still cares for us. I'm going to read you a little story about a little boy who was rather selfish, but we can change. Things can work out better for us when we help and think of others. It was Alfie's birthday. And his friend Bernard was invited to his birthday party. But Bernard was very shy and timid. And although his mum took him to the birthday party, he felt a little bit uneasy 
because when he arrived at Berner's house, all his friends were there having a really good time and he found it difficult to join in. However, he gave Alfie his special birthday present. So he said to him, oh, happy birthday, here's your present. So he ripped the present open. It was a lovely packet of crayons. So Bernard didn't want these crayons. He threw them up in the air and went off to play with his friends. And Alfie felt very hurt and began to get very, very upset. Bernard's mum came along and said to Bernard, you're very naughty and you must say very sorry to Alfie, which he did. They started playing another game of bubbles. And there was a little girl, Millie, and a huge bubble landed on her arm. And she loved this bubble and she was looking at it and admiring it. When Bernard came along and popped it, she got very upset and she began to cry. Alfie saw Millie crying. She couldn't join into any other of the games. She was too upset. So Alfie went over to her and said, look, let's have a game together, which they did. And Bernard felt so sorry that, those, that both Alfie and Millie felt excluded from his party, that he went over at the end of the party. They all joined hands and they had a lovely time of fun to end his birthday celebration. So although Bernard started out not being very kind, not being very thoughtful, seeing somebody upset and in need reminded him that he could perhaps make an effort to bring a little bit of happiness and a little bit of joy to his friends at his party. So among the great things of friendship is the ability to be able to say, sorry. That may be difficult because sometimes if you say sorry, people say, oh, I don't care, I'm not interested. But it is a very lovely way of making up a friendship, especially after an argument or a misunderstanding or perhaps a, a total falling out. So let's for a moment we think of people been upset by their friends, people who are hurting at this moment. So we pray, Lord, for all those who are sad and lonely at this time, for those who feel that friends don't want to be with them anymore. We thank you, Lord, for the gifts of our friends for all the joy that they bring us. We pray to you, Lord, especially for those who have no friends, how those who find it hard to make friends. We think of those who are feeling excluded, nobody to love them and nobody to care for them. We pray too for the suffering people of the world thinking especially of the areas in our world where there is warfare and violence and hunger. And we thank you, Lord, that we are so very, very lucky that we have people to care for us, that we have people to look after us, and that we have wonderful opportunities in our lives. We ask you to bless, Lord, our parents, our mums and our dads, all our families, we think now, especially of people who are ill at this time, we pray, Lord, that they may find comfort. We pray too for all the doctors and nurses and paramedics and all carers who look after people who are ill. We pray too, Lord, for peace in our world. We ask you, Lord, to end all the wars that are going on at this time to help everybody to live in peace. And we say now together the Lord's Prayer. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>